Right, watch out, number six. My guard thing, me, Bob. Um, right, today I'm going to make the plates that I'm going to weld the bars onto. Right, show it with me. Two of these. This is the doodah that goes inside a filing cabinet drawer. So it bolts to the side of the drawer like that, produces this inner rail, and you hang the filing cabinet or files on that. And there's one on the other side. They are probably one and a half mil, one mil. They're quite thick. They're not the usual thin tin. They've got a nice fold along the bottom, which is going to work. Um, it's going to sit on the swing arm, a couple of holes, cut it to shape, and then trim this top off. Idea being that bring this solid piece of metal sheet back as far as I can, not too cumbersome looking, trim it a bit, uh, bring it back as far as I can on the swing arm to get as close to the little mudguard assembly as possible so that the rods that I'm going to use to curve and weld down onto this are as short as possible. Short they are, the less they're going to waggle about. And this is quite stiff, and especially when you've got a fold at the bottom that's going to sit neatly on the swing arm. The fold on the top, I'll probably just trim that off. But anyway, there we are. I've got loads of paint and stuff to zap off it with the old lapper. So there's a bit of work to do, a bit of grinding and cutting tonight and drilling. So we've done laminating, we've done welding. Tonight it's cutting, grinding, drilling, trying to make that fit on the near side of the bike, the left-hand side. Um, so that then I've got one reference point and that can do the other side tomorrow. Okay, so there we are. That's what it is. Stick around, stay tuned. Part six will be the left-hand swing arm bracket. Teach. Right, what I mean by all that, oh, that's all done by the way. One piece now, no creaking, nice. Um, so that's going to kind of go here ish, something like that. And this is the old bandit chain guard. Um, I've got these two lugs welded to the swing arm, they're sort of part of it, they came with it. Don't know what they were for, probably the original hugger, I guess. But that, I made a little lug. Just to bolt that. This is the old bandit chain guard. That bolt kind of fitted okay, and I just fabricated that so it fits. Because you need a chain guard, not only for MOT, you also need it to save problems with oil going up the back of the bike, flinging off the chain, because I don't run an oiler on this. It, I just put chain lube on it. And also, if the chain ever breaks, the chain guard, a beefy chain guard, will catch it and stop it coming up, doing damage to you. And your ass. Let's take that out of the way first. Let's cat see the rabbit, because I need to see what these lugs look like and how I'm going to come off those. Best. And that is why you have a chain guard. If you haven't seen that before. Well, that would be up your ass, which isn't nice. Right, now I've got these two fabulous little lugs. And they are proper beef, welded on as part of the swing arm. Not going anywhere, so I'm just going to come off those, put the metal plate in place, and then I'll faff around and put some sort of chain guard back in place once I've done. Right, now this is... Uh, a little bit easier to see. I've got these nice folds which are useful. Um, looking at the area which I need to cover the chain, obviously for chain guardage, if I fold this top fold here down flat, that will double that width. And when that's then on there, it'll be in about that far. So actually this will act as a pretty damn neat chain guard, meaning I don't have to have the old chain guard at the same time, and I can just have that one. So what I've got to do, because I need to put that lip, I need to fold that down. Now I haven't got a brake, um, that is a folding brake, so I can't fold it down neatly, and it could well just crack or break off, but I reckon if I tap that down gently, using a piece of wood, um, a block and a gentle hammer, I reckon I should get that nice and flat. So that will then sit inwards over the chain and act as a cool chain guard. And then I've just got to cut two little notches out of there so that that fold can go inwards innermost where they are. There we are. So let's get that tap down.
beat. Good old fashioned bit of panel beating. So that will now form the chain guard. Um, obviously I can neaten it up, trim it and make it look half decent so it looks like a chain guard and not a filing cabinet rack. But I've just got a couple, snip out a couple of notches for these two in this inner lip so it can go flush up against so I can just drill the back. So two notches. And let's hope they are Buenas notches. Do you like what it did there? Oh dear. Okay, I'll carry on. Just on the chisel line. There you go, and these are plasma cutter. They fancy pants tools. Not even a rough edge. All right, let's see what it looks like. Just pencil through the hole. Same on the back one. And what I can do later, once this is all, there you go, one there, one there. Now what I can do is make them into slots, so that when you adjust the wheel back, then my guard can come back with it on slots. So I just got to take the slots out, cut a little bit more of this out, and they're adjustable. There you go. Just drill them out. Punch mark. One strike. Sounds good. Gonna go with these, they're a bit beefier and they'll do the job better, but they're too big for the holes. Now they're an inch, roughly 20 mil across, so an eight mil hole will not hurt them. And then I can put a decent size fastener in that will hold them 
obviously what was in there before was just six mil, not big enough. So we'll lock these out to eight mil. That's it. Here we are. Dead straight with the swing arm. Bingo, new chain guard. And that, I should be able to bring some little curved rods just over there, just to hold that. But before I can do anything else, this has got all be cleaned off, all this paint's got to be cleaned off. I'm gonna do something with this front edge because that just looks shit. I think I'll just bring up that across so it matches the back. Um, and X, make it look a little bit better. This is just purely for aesthetics. Nice curve at the front. So that looks better up. clean some of the paint off it. Obviously, that looks the piece and does the job, but just holding it there and there firmly, it's got a bit of flex. Now, when the the thing's welded to it, that will hold it still to a degree, but you're still going to have stress points around here and here, and this is only sort of one and a half mil, whatever gauge that is, steel. So the chances of this cracking are quite high. So to prevent that, I'm going to beef it up with a little bit of plate that I got from the rear indicator supports. So just draw around that. All I'm going to do now is, oh, where are we? Sorry. Just draw around there. I'm just going to clean that little bit off, drill three or four little holes in there, uh, and just plug weld that literally as best I can with a plate on the inside so that when that's bolted on, it spreads the weight so it's not just around the holes. A little bit of straight through. Right now, pretty much prepped for plug welding. I've uh, drilled the holes on the outside, it's all prepped on the inside, and I just used the two bolts that are gonna hold it onto the bike, because they're, they're the best way to clamp it. There's no point in clamping it with grips and stuff. Just use them, that's it. Then those holes will definitely line up afterwards, kind of all jigging it almost. Um, so, do a little bit of welding on that, get that tacked up, and then, I'll be able to call that done.
right penetrated right through nice and solid a bit messy so I'm going to grind a bit of that back it's got a tiny little warp towards the front which is easy enough to straighten once it's cooled off fuck oh. stays off for a bit okay let's grind it back Beef, let's bolt it on the bike for the final test fit. All right, here we go. Final fit before. There we go. Nice. So what I'll probably do is cut these bolts down so they don't go near the chain. Here we go. Pull that from one of them in about two hours. Long one tonight. And that will now fit. The beauty of that is now I've got um, the ability to bring rods uh, soldier welding along, you know, side by side, weld down between them, and then just come over, pick up the shapes, and that will stiffen that up more. That's beef now, ain't going anywhere. The mount points are very strong. This end, the back moves a bit, but it won't move so much once this is welded on. If it does, then I might just take a drill through the billet here, um, or perhaps drill down into the billet with a little L bracket there just to hold it. But either way, there we are progress so far tucking along there we go took a bit longer than i expected but that's what i was thinking up today and i like it i like it it's strong it's beef what i may do if it is nice and beef i may just bore a couple of holes along it just to lighten the visual effect of it it's, it's quite a sheet metal lump it's quite a big look blob at the minute and it's when you sort of juxtapose that with the wire which is quite delicate and thin it looks a bit odd so maybe i'll just bore some holes in that with just with a whole cutter, don't know, I don't want to make it any weaker if I can help it. Anyway, all to come, but for now, that's it. Chain guard replaced with one that I can now weld to because the old one was alley anyway. So even if I wanted to use that, I couldn't. There we go, thanks for tuning in. Those guys, that's been number six. Um, got to do the other side tomorrow, and when they're both in place, I can then start taking a link between the three pieces and zapping them together. It's that soon, okay? Take it easy, ride safe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.